Hello, this is Siamis Scalable and Incremental Code Clone Search via Multiple Code Representations. This is Journal First, published in Empirical Software Engineering. I'm Chai Yong Rakit Vesagun, and this is the work that I co author with Jens Krinke from University College London. So let's get started. So nowadays, we are in the need of code clone search. Because um, in software development, the developer has been using several source code snippets from the internet. There are a lot of source code that are currently available on the internet, both, uh, let's say, Stack Overflow or GitHub. And the developer are prefer to use uh, these coding solutions from online sources, and then they copy to their own projects. There are also other studies that use these source code online, to suggest as code example to the developers. However, there's, there are findings that these code cloning from online sources may introduce some negative effects to software quality, such as uh, software vulnerabilities or license violations. So we would like to propose the Siamese clone search approach, which has multiple code representations that capture different types of clone at the same time. Query reduction that improves the clone search accuracy by keeping only rare terms in the search keywords. Clone ranking that allows the user to adjust the ranking of the clone result based on their specific needs. And incremental updates that saves the time when you want to add or remove specific projects from the large core search index. OK, let's start with the multiple code representations. Let's say we have this source code example that we want to search for clones on the left. So these binary search code snippets will be fed to the multiple code representation module. And then Sayamis will generate four code representations of the same source code. Each representation captures different types of code modifications that can be found in code clones, such as variable renaming, different literal values, or added, deleted, or modified statements. So these four code representations are used as a search queries. And before we're going to use them to search for clones, we pass them through the query reduction module that will improve the quality of the queries by getting rid of the frequent terms. So showing on the left is a plot of the document frequency of Java terms. And for Siamese, we keep only these rare terms in the search queries, and we get rid of all the frequent terms. So once we have improved the quality of the search queries, we pass the four code snippets, which are uh, four representation of the same source code, to the code search index. And with the weighting that we give to each different representation, we can specify the ranking of the clone that we would like to get. So by changing the weighting like this, we get different order of the clone results. We have evaluated Siamese in different aspects. So the first one, we, we see how effective are multiple representation and query reduction in improving clone search accuracy. And we have found that by having both MR and QR, we can gain the highest mean average precision compared to using either MR or QR alone and compared to the baseline text search on two different data sets. We also compare Siamese to other text search engine and code clone detection tools on the same two data sets. And we found that Siamese give the highest mean average precision when searching for clones. About the clone ranking, Siamese can look for alternative implementations, which means code clones that have several modifications but still perform the same task. Um, by giving different weighting score, um, you can boost Siamese to search for these kind of specific clones compared to the performance of the baseline text search and the default configuration. The last one is about scalability. So Siamese can scale to 300 millilines of code and can give the search result within seconds. It has a comparable performance to Sorcerer CC and better than the other tools. 
Siamese can be applied to multiple uh, tasks such as online code clone detection on Stack Overflow or to search for online code clones with software license analysis. It can also be implemented as a code clone search service. And recently, I have used it to detect the usage of Pythonic idioms. OK, so that's all for the talk. If you are interested to see more details, please check out the link on the left. Thanks for watching.